Quite a collection of junk. Need something? something
We had it. So, Trudy, hand over the goods you owe us. I ain't giving you poison shilling chem pushers anything. Do you know what that junk has done to my boy? We bought them fair and square, Trudy. Ain't our fault if he's strung out. Now, don't make me come in there and shoot up that little trading post of yours. Whoa, whoa. Easy there, scammer. This doesn't involve you. That's right. Walk away. I'm the muscle, babe. Just don't piss me off, all right? I thought I told you this ain't any of your concern. You stop waving that gun in my face, or it's gonna involve me. Okay, okay, just take it easy. We'll lower our weapons, all right? Just don't do anything crazy. Now hand over your money, all of it. Just keep calm, all right? Here, that's everything I have. What's going on here? That's a simple business dispute, got it? Trudy's sitting on a pile of goods that she owes me. I tried reasoning with her, but it looks like I gotta take what's mine by force. Wanna make some easy money? Help me out. I could use another gun. Or maybe you think you can talk some sense into her. If I help, I expect to get paid. And I'd love to pay you, but you took all my money, remember? We'll work something out when this is over. Who's Trudy? See that diner right in front of us? Trudy owns the place. She's converted it into a small shop. I sell her chems, she gives me caps and parts I need. And when her son Patrick had his 18th birthday, I might have sold him some jet, then some more, then a lot more. Now he's in debt. Jet? What, what's Jet? That's my top seller. Gives you a high like you wouldn't believe. My customers swear it makes them faster. Always take a huff before a fight. So I guess Patrick was looking to get from under his mama's skirt and be like the tough guys. So he bought some. And once you're on it, why stop? Now I've sold that boy a lot of my Jet, and I expect someone to make good on his promises that I get paid. Scumbag. You made him an addict. Yeah, yeah, I've heard it before. Look, he wanted a product, I sold him a product. And I expect to get paid for my product. Now you gonna help us out, or what? I'll talk to her. Maybe we can work this out. I appreciate it. If things go sideways, we'll back you up. Do you have a minute? Sure, go ahead. When we first met, I admit, I had my doubts about you, but you've done nothing but impress me. You're just who the Minutemen needed to bring us back from the brink. Thanks. That means a lot coming from you. You've probably realized by now how important the Minutemen are to me. When I was a kid, the Minutemen were my heroes. They were the only good guys around, really. When I turned 17, I joined up with Ezra Hollis's company. He was one of the good ones. Really believed in the old time Minuteman way. We had a few good years there. I felt like I was part of something bigger than me. Like I was really helping make the Commonwealth a better place. If things were so great back then, how did it all fall apart so fast? I'm sure there was a lot I didn't see or know enough to pay attention to, you know, the politics and rivalries and bad blood between the different groups. I guess General Becker was able to keep a lid on it, keep everyone more or less on the same team. But after he was killed, it all came out in the open. I couldn't believe it at first. These guys were supposed to be Minutemen. They were supposed to put their duty to the people ahead of everything else. You probably think I was pretty naive, huh? I guess I was. Still am, too. Even after everything. I still believe that the Minutemen can be what I always thought they were. The good guys. We are the good guys. We're doing our best. 
and a lot of it has to do with your example. So I guess what I'm trying to say is, thanks. Anyway, I appreciate you taking the time to listen. Anytime, Preston. Thanks, man. We probably better get back to it. Uh, <clears throat> I saw you in that poison cellar talking. Well, he ain't getting his money. Period. Look, you owe the money. If you just pay them, then this will be over. Everyone walks away without getting hurt. All right, I'll pay. But that bastard ain't gonna sell one more drop of jet to my boy. You hear that, Wolfgang? You'll get your damn money, but I better not catch you selling chems to my boy again. Fine by me, Trudy. Your son's broke as shit anyhow. All right, crisis is over. If you're here to trade, step up to the counter. We get paid, and I don't even gotta shoot nobody. Good job. Here. Now how about I show you all the pick-me-ups I have to offer? Gonna pass. 